I am Mika. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so that you are alerted when I post new videos. So today I'm going to be showing you my interpretation or my version or my attempt at this um, clean girl makeup look that is so popular right now. I really love this look. This is basically like what I do every single day. Now, I can admit that maybe this is a little bit more extreme than the look should be, but nonetheless, it's a natural makeup look. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, definitely stay tuned. All right, so I'm starting off with a fresh face, um, moisturized, and uh, please excuse my skin. Um, so recently I ruined my skin um, testing out new products. It is my fault <laughs> that I ruined it. Um, and I don't have sensitive skin or anything like that. It's just that I, I didn't test the product before. I just started applying it all over my face. Um, that's my fault, but I just wanted to go ahead and clear the air just in case you notice it. I mean, it kind of looks like I burned my skin off on my cheeks a little. Um, highly upsetting, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I just wanted to go ahead and mention it just in case you looked at my skin and was like, don't want my skin to look like that. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am going to start off with a primer. This is probably my favorite primer. This is the Lancome La Base Pro Primer. You know what? It's true what they say when they say it helps your makeup last longer. It definitely does. Now, one thing that I also have been using a lot more is a, um, a sunscreen. It is extremely important to protect your skin even when you're wearing makeup. Um, look, all I've been thinking about is when I get older, I want my skin to still look flawless. All right, so next I'm about to go in and do my eyebrows. I like to use the Revlon Color Stay. Um, eyebrow pencil. I love this eyebrow pencil, but I think I said this in another video. It definitely, it doesn't last long. So I like to just take my pencil and fill in all the sparse areas. I had to switch mirrors because I like being up close and personal with a mirror. I kind of like just using a compact mirror when I do my makeup. Um, well, when I do any like eye makeup. Okay, so that is what my eyebrows look like once I fill them in. Okay, so next I have been really loving this um, Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Oh my gosh, it has made such a difference in my eyebrows. My eyebrow hairs don't move unlike before when I wasn't using an eyebrow gel. All right, and now my eyebrows are done. I did forget to mention that on my lips, I used this right here. And I love this stuff. And honestly, I just started using it. And I see why everyone loves this stuff. Kind of like melts on your lips, kind of like butter. And I just, I don't know, I'm obsessed. I wear it all day long. I know it's supposed to be a sleeping lip mask. Now I am about to go in with my concealer. I am using the Pat McGrath Labs. Um, concealer this is the skin fetish sublime um and it, this is in the shade nd26 i like to go right up under my eyes with this concealer now i've been noticing too where people are like taking it and just kind of doing it there and then doing it here with like a lighter concealer just to like highlight but 
I don't know. Like, I just don't do it that way. I don't know. Um, and then I also like to take this and put this all over, like, anywhere where I have, like, dark spots. All right, next I am going to go in with my um, Chanel Salute Setting Powder. Um, well, or a loose finishing powder. Finish loose powder. Anyway, um, I love this stuff. I'm going to repurchase it, but I will go into a different shade. Um, this is the 40. I want to go and grab the 30 once this runs out um, because I think it's a little too dark. I do love this stuff. I feel like it just makes your your skin look really smooth and you know, poreless. All right, so next I like to go in with the Kat Von D Locket um, setting or is it, it's a brightening powder. And I actually stopped using it because I just couldn't move past the uh, flashback um, it was causing and it was driving me nuts. And I thought maybe it was the way I was applying it, but I found that even if I applied like a small amount, it didn't matter. I don't understand how people do it, like honestly, but I do kind of, I'm starting to like a little bit of a brighter under eye, um, but in photos, oh my God. Um, and I'm wondering if maybe it's the shade I'm using or if that just is a thing and it just happens anyway, I don't know, but anyway. We're gonna do it today. Um, no, that's not super like natural, I guess, but it's a little, I mean, depending on how you do it, I think it can look natural. So hopefully this looks natural. <laughs> I'm going to, oh, I definitely overdid it just then. So now that that's done, I'm going to start applying my foundation. And um, this compact that I'm using is actually my foundation. I just really like this mirror. So this right here is my um, foundation that I'm going to use. Um, this is Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Compact Foundation. That is worthy. <laughs> I actually really like this foundation. It's super, super, super light. So if you're not really into like a natural look, I don't know how much you'll like this. I personally really do like it. Um, when I heard that it was like kind of lightweight, I was like, okay, like that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then I applied it and I wasn't used to super lightweight, like um, light coverage, light coverage foundation. I was like, Oh, I want light coverage, but goodness, this barely covers. <laughs> but I actually find that I really like it. And it's kind of like the um, the loose powder. It does the same thing for your skin. Like it gives it that smooth, um, kind of like uh, skin-like look, if that makes any sense. It kind of like blurs out your pores, like that type of thing. Um, so I really, really love it. All right, so now I am going to dust away that um, the highlighting powder or uh, setting powder, whichever one you want to call it. I never know the difference or whether there is a difference. <sighs> anyway, um, so yes, I find that when I let it sit too long, it just looks bad. All right, so next I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour powder. I like to take my brush and I like to kind of pinch my brush like this and I like to just go in and place that there. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and contour my nose. Um, I am pretty sure I don't do it the proper way, <laughs> but I like to go in here, start up here first. 
and just kind of like carve out this area and just like really define it I guess um, and then I like to bring that down my nose I don't know if you can see what I'm doing okay so <laughs> I like to bring that down my nose and then I kind of like to go up under Then I like to take my finger and I like to blend that out. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. Um, this is Flirty with Danger. This is a mineralized blush. I like to kind of start it there and bring it in just a little bit, not too much. Do you see my skin? Do you see this, this right here? Then I just like to pop some of that on like my nose. <laughs> so next, I think I want to um, add just a little bit of my um, mineralized skin finish um, foundation in the shade um, dark. Um, just because sometimes the um, Chanel foundation, for some reason, looks a little darker on me. Um, I don't know, but yeah. So I like to add just a little bit of that on top because it is lighter than the Chanel one, but I found that this one made me look a little ashy. So I don't like using it by itself anymore. All right, so now I'm going to take that same contour, um, or contour, bronzer, powder bronzer, and I'm going to um, put some on my eye. I like to just take a little bit of it on a brush and just kind of do like this. Next, I'm going to go in with this um, Bobbi Brown um, highlighting powder. I like to take this right here, like at the top of like my cheekbone, like up here. I like to swirl it around and just kind of bring it down a little. I like a really dewy look. Personally, I like to take my finger, put it in the powder, and um, swirl, swirl it around in the powder a little, and take that and put that right here. Okay, yeah, I don't want to overdo it. I feel like I'm going to overdo it. I like to go in the inner corner of my eyes. And apply that just like right here at the corner. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario um, Master Crystal Reflector. And this is in the um, shade Citrine, I believe. Yeah. So, I like to take that same brush I use um, for my highlighting powder and I like to just dip this in lightly. Okay, let me move back. There you go. So can you see that? Isn't that pretty on there? So now I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. Basically everywhere that I put my highlighter, that's also where I'm going to apply this, but just like way less because this is just basically glitter. Um, and I kind of like that glittery look. I don't know why that's not really like natural, but I try not to overdo it. <laughs> 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my lip combo and I like to use this um, MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Um, and I recently purchased this um, MAC lipstick. It's a, a Powder Kiss lipstick. This is um, Teddy 2.0. And then I love this stuff right here. It is so amazing. It's a lip oil by, um, I believe it's pronounced Caress. And this stuff smells amazing. It smells sweet, kind of like vanilla or something like that. And it's like a honey color and they have different shades, I believe. And then um, not too long ago, I started using lip gloss uh, or like a lip oil or even like the, um, I'll wear this throughout the day too sometimes because I love it so much and it's super hydrating. So, I mean, I'm becoming a lip gloss kind of girl and that wasn't really my thing before. I'm going to use this um, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray um, because I like this stuff and I will be repurchasing it. So I am going to go in with this mascara right here by Lancome. This is probably my favorite mascara. So this is the completed look. I hope you like it. Um, it actually, it turned out okay. You know, I'm not like, you know, <laughs> I'm not an expert. I'm not like a professional makeup artist or anything like that. So I think for what it's worth, I did a decent job, you know? <laughs> Um, this is basically what I do every single day anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Come back and join me next time, and I will see you.